Yeah, I'm Dr. Kalpana Nagpal, senior consultant in Indraprastha Polo Hospital, New Delhi. She's my patient here and she presented to me with a swelling in the palate and this has been slowly growing over a period of uh, two, or two to three years and it has been painless but she was concerned about the swelling in the palate and then therefore we got her investigated and the CT scan showed a big tumour in the palate and we also got the fine needle aspiration study which confirmed that it's a benign tumour. Now we plan excision for her. We explained to her about both robotic options and non-robotic options. She chose robotic option and uh, uh, post-robotic surgery today is the first day there's, there has been no complaints of pain. In fact, today is an additional day which they have chosen to stay. Otherwise, she could have been even discharged today. The feeding tube is just kept for a day. It will be removed now in another one or two hours. There was no bleeding during surgery. The planes were very well visualized. The tumor was so fantastically seen under 3D vision and uh, the dissection was so neat and clean only because of the 3D vision that the surgeon had and even all the assistants and staff in the operation theater could watch it on the 2D screen. The dissection as it proceeded, there were minor micro adhesions that were seen in the, in the planes and then that were, those were removed and at the same time the bleeding uh, you know, uh, could be taken care of because this robotic machine, we have different foot switches where we could control bleeding and we could do the cutting and coagulation at the same time. There are many different properties in the surgeon console. Like we have a binocular vision and this is all without touching the patient. I was sitting few feet away from the patient and I am sitting at my own comfort so there is no fatigue for the surgeon and I am uh, looking at uh, the uh, screen and uh, unlike the myth that the robot operates, it's not true. The robotic arms have to follow the surgeon commands. So every command I give, the robotic arms move. So this is a fantastic discovery. So this uh, tele-surgery is uh, you know, amazing and uh, the patients have advantage that uh, the, pa the duration of stay in the hospital is just very short and without any bleeding, no need of transfusions. And primary closure was easily achieved, so she didn't require any flaps either. My name is Afra. Now I am feeling well. Yeah, first uh, we came from uh, Republic of uh, Sudan uh, before uh, seven days and we met Dr. Kalbana, actually uh, someone of our friend in United Arab Emirates introduced me to Dr. Kalbana which is a famous uh, consultant for ENT surgery. Uh, as well, uh, I was uh, reading a lot of her, you know, in her website in Apollo uh, Hospital. Uh, my wife, she's suffering from the swelling in palate, so that we came here in India, we met her, and she gave us a lot of uh, information and, uh, about the surgery. Now the surgery done yesterday, and my wife, she's feeling well, and the, the, uh, the feeding tube will be removed tomorrow and there is no any bleeding and uh, tomorrow will be uh, her uh, discharge. Thank you very much for the hospital and thank you very much for Dr. Kalbana. She is very kind and she was following the patients uh, 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 all the time. And thank you for the staff of the Apollo Hospital. Thank you.